For Josh Sinner, it pays to look on the bright side. <laughs> the James Cook University professor has spent 20 years researching coral reefs around the world. Many of the world's coral reefs are in trouble from overfishing, pollution and climate change. But rather than simply document their decline, my research team and I are searching for solutions. The social scientist takes a novel approach to addressing the ongoing decline of coral reef systems around the world. We went looking for the bright spots, the places that, for all intents and purposes, should have been degraded but weren't, and had more fish than expected given the conditions they were exposed to. By looking more deeply into these positive outliers, we're hoping to learn more about how some places have successfully confronted the strong drivers affecting coral reefs, potentially providing lessons for other places. Josh and a team of 38 scientists conducted 6,500 surveys in 46 countries. Through this analysis, they found 15 bright spots, coral reefs that had more fish than expected. One bright spot was at Kaka Island, where they found traditional practices kept fish stocks healthy. They close off portions of the reef for several years at a time. They actually do it to make fishing easier, but it's part of a strong conservation culture in the community. That's all time you play tambu in Molgeta. The success is now being replicated in nearby communities. The psychology of people is such that if you continually bombard them with bad news, they just disconnect. We need to counterbalance that with some positive news, some bright spots. Josh is now looking deeper into the places that are getting reef management right to make the future a bit brighter for reefs the world over. The research was made possible by generous funding from the Australian Research Council, the Pew Charitable Trust and the Paul M. Angel Family Foundation.